We're having a holiday party in a couple days. It's gonna be the fifth day of Christmas. And my front porch decorations are looking really dry. So I've been up for over a month, like six weeks. They've been really well, but I need a refresh. So I'm gonna go out and collect some more. I might add a couple more ribbons too. Everything inside is looking okay. I love natural stuff, but it does dry out so fast. And um, then of course, whenever you're having guests over, you start looking at everything with new eyes. But hopefully it'll look nice enough for our party. And I'm looking forward to celebrating more Christmas in the Christmas season. We kept it really quiet for Advent this year, so it really feels festive. And um, I'm not exhausted yet. <laughs> So it's looking pretty dry and sad. I pulled out a lot of the cedar, which had really dried out, and then added a little more and just added a bow. Um, I want our porch to look really inviting for our holiday parties. So I decided I pulled out the dead holly leaves from my planters too. The boxwood's going strong, and I added some red bows there as well. And then this little boxwood was just totally just dried out and teeny so I put a, a fresh one up there my cat still thinks I decorated the front porch just for her I'm pretty sure um, I love to write down my plans when I am getting ready for a party so I have this notebook and I'm looking forward to referring back to this next year because I think it'll just get easier and easier if I keep notes this is about I'm like one year into keeping notes in this book and it's been really helpful. So here I am, I'm writing out our menu for the party. We're just having little snacks and I'm planning on making some rolls and having ham sandwiches and roast beef sandwiches and lots and lots of Christmas things like cookies and pies and cakes. So we're planning on quite a few people and it's fun to have this in between time, in between um Christmas and New Year, which is still Christmas, and but things are really calm. There's not a lot going on, and it's just like a great time to sort of calmly and slowly plan a party. And my goal for this one is just to get everything done so that I'm, the day of the party, I don't have to do anything but set out all the food and relax and have a good time. So wish me luck with that. <laughs> I turn to the good old joy of cooking for inspiration for this party menu and they had this party platter suggestion that involved roast beef and these no need yeast rolls and I was so enchanted by the way they described them. They said these are the rolls we remember from childhood light as a feather and tucked into a special linen napkin and I just was so intrigued by that description that I had to make them and they did turn out really really nice and I don't remember having rolls in a linen napkin when I was a kid but it was definitely the inspiration for this menu and it turned out really good. I also made my favorite lemon bars from the smitten kitchen i love the smitten kitchen she's got some fantastic recipes that are just so good and no fuss no muss like these lemon bars you can make them in one bowl of your food processor and you cook them on parchment paper so there is just hardly any cleanup and they're always a huge hit everyone loves them and i get lots of compliments on my lemon bars and i'm always like it's not me it's deb she's amazing so i will try to link her recipe for lemon bars down below they're in her first cookbook this mitten kitchen cookbook which is a fantastic cookbook i there's a lot i have a lot of go-to recipes from that cookbook this recipe does call for a ton of butter, which is probably why it's so delicious in the crust and in the lemon filling too.
So I'm also just getting a lot of laundry done in the middle of all this relaxed, leisurely planning for this party. And I just folded this basket right out of the dryer. And my kids helped a lot too. So we got all caught up on laundry. We got really behind right before Christmas. But it's another thing I love about these days in between is just kind of oh, take a breather, catch up, get stuff folded without you know, get some food made without all the rush, rush, rush. I also made a ton of pumpkin pies. Our pumpkins did so well in the garden this year. And this is my favorite pie crust recipe from Deb at the Smitten Kitchen because you can do it in one bowl and just with butter. So it's just no fuss, just easy. And it tastes really, really good. So I think I ended up making four pies. I re-ironed my holiday slash everyday tablecloth. I, this is such a great tablecloth. I got it at Amazon years ago and only after my other one from Amazon I wore into holes after about 10 years. I love red checked tablecloths and it's so festive. It's great for every day. It's great for Christmas and in honor of our party I even ironed it just so it would look extra pretty. I set everything up for the party the day before just real slow. I had a really fun time because I had all the time in the world to just get it just looking just so and um, it was nice to do all of this without rushing and just really enjoy it so that's it's something that is really it's nice to have this in between time instead of trying to cram all these parties in before Christmas to do this one after Christmas which we've been trying to do for years, but one reason and another, we've never quite pulled it off. So we're really excited this year to finally be doing a Christmas party during the 12 days of Christmas. We roasted a sirloin tip, which is not a really typical roast beef, but it turned out really, really nice. <music> We are the day of the party. My dream did come true. I had time to just set everything out right before the party started and even sit down and relax and watch a little bit of Meet Me in St. Louis while we waited for guests to arrive. I don't think I've ever had such a relaxed start of a party experience. These peanuts are Aunt and Uncle Senna's from North Carolina are amazing. And my husband surprised me with these tartan tablecloths that he found. So we had a little extra festivity. Um, the sandwiches turned out really nice and the lemon bars and pie and we had some panettone and Christmas candy and things that we'd gotten as gifts that we put out as well. So we had quite a spread and um, it was just a great down home holiday party Christmas open house. Then it was time to decide what to wear for New Year's. I did this a few days in advance. I was really inspired to mix velvet and sequins, and I dug out this old dress I've had since high school that looks like a black velvet turtleneck with a black skirt, and it has a belt, but it's really one piece. And then I have this sequin t-shirt that I got at a consignment store. They're actually both Ann Taylor pieces, but got them like a decade apart and I just put the t-shirt on over and I really liked how it contrasted with the velvet and it felt really cozy. Um, we're, just, we're going to a New Year's party at the Neighbors so it's you could wear whatever. You could wear jeans. You could really 
it, you know, they're not expecting anybody to dress up, but I love to dress up, especially for New Year's. And I also have these rose gold sparkle heels that I got on eBay a long time ago. They're J. Crew, and I don't wear them that much because they're really uncomfortable. And the older I get, the more kids I have, the less tolerance I have for walking in them. I also tried the t shirt on with this sequin skirt that I have. That used to belong to my mother-in-law, and it's from Bowdoin. I really love it. But in the end, I decided that I preferred the velvet and sequins. I was just feeling that more this year. I'm loving all the sparkle and all of the texture. So that's what I went with. And my sister-in-law gave me these really fun earrings for Christmas. So I decided to add those as well. I hope that you are feeling inspired to wear something a little sparkly for the new year be it some earrings or sequins or velvet let me know in the comments uh what do you have any go-to combinations that make you feel especially festive i th am thinking that velvet and sequins might be my new go-to i really am enjoying it this year so i wish you all a very happy new year and i will see you next week bye for now mm -hmm.